Good morning. It has been raining. Our drain is flowing. So I need to sort the rest of this ditch out our way down. It's not the prettiest looking just now, but we have water flow, which is good. The wet bit is still wet, but this ground is all panned. The water is flowing away there to the ditch. It's needing a bit more water before it goes away down the ditch. There's a fair bit of water flow coming out the bottom pipe. So a bit of that will be coming from here, obviously. The issue is the depth of that pipe and the depth here. There's a low bowl here, so we might have to top this bit up with soil. I think that'll be the next thing to do. Shift a bit of soil in here, bring the levels up, effectively lowering the water table relative to where the crop sits. Just gets you a level down to where the water is to run away to. But there's water moving now. True test will be in the winter. I'm just ordering bits now for the returns conveyor here. So Kevin and I have just been having a look at it. Dunk pulled it out for us. And there's six of these needing replaced. What's happened is these rivets have failed and there's a lot that have failed. See, that one's failed. And the issue is this side is fine, intact, no problem. But the back side of them, they're really thin. So there you go. You can see the lip of that rivet is cracked off. There's just a little bit hanging on that's left. That side's not too bad. But the rivets are all just failing. That one's failed. This side of them seem to be fine. That side, not so fine. A lot thinner. There you go. There's another one that's just about to fail. There you go. You can see that crack forming there on that one. During the season, we did repair a few so that was one we put a bolt into there's another we put a bolt into another bolt another bolt that one's failed another bolt another bolt it's the the quality of the rivets it's very poor that's fourth season of that combine i'll do a roughly a thousand acres a season and um, so four thousand acres and those rivets are knackered i'm undecided what to do right now we're gonna to have to drill out all the rivets. So I'm undecided as to whether to replace them with rivets or replace them with bolts. Um, I lock nuts. I don't know yet. Kevin and I are just gonna change the power power tines on the drill. The mechanism that holds the tines in, there's a few bolts missing, so I need to go and get them from sellers. And sellers are also the guys who do our combine. So I'm gonna to speak to them. I need to order at least six flights and then speak to them, one, if they've been having that problem, which I think they will definitely have been having that problem elsewhere. Has anyone else been seeing this? 2021 6700 class combine returns conveyor rivets failing. Dad must have collected these yesterday or this morning. Parahara tines. Right, I just need to see what bolts are missing under here. So you can see there, there's a bolt missing. So. I'm not sure why these bolts come loose. I don't know whether we're wearing these tines too far down and the mechanism's in the soil too much. Um, anyway, there, there's only two needing replaced. Last winter we did quite a few of them, maybe 10 of them. A lot of nylock on them all, so we've, we've two that have come out since then. So I'll go and pick up a couple. Have you noticed my lack of defender? It's broken down again. I've got my bolts from sellers. Just, um, I've ordered the flats and they're gonna price up bolts for replacing all the rivets. I spoke to one of the mechanics and yeah, just been changing them out to bolts, ones that have gone on other combines, so. Now lock bolts, six new panels we need. It's not a pressing job, but do it now, put it all back together, and then we know we'll come harvest. Next year, we're good to go. Now I am to parry bound to pick up a head scoop. I have underestimated the size of it. What, how, what, how long is it? 2.1. 2.1. Ah, we might get it in. The 
If it fits that way, it can hang out. I could just leave the tailgate down. <laughs> right, let's try it. Straight in the road. Usually there's more to parry kit kicking about in here. These are race wells, one, two, three, four, five, six, all spoken for, heading out very soon. These crushes, I think there's six there, four are spoken for. This big hydraulic crush with a shedding gate on the front, sold. There's another big race well here. A sheep thingy my bobber. I don't do sheep, nor do I want to. They've got six. Six containers coming over the sea, have you? Five landing before Christmas. Busy men at Tapari. I'll be needing a bigger commission. Like a glove. Job done. See you later. Head scoop is in. Just need to fit it. Screen door crack, ball game on. Man on the floor, singing baby tone. Ten line leads to that gentle place between a collarbone and a stone cold face. Right, done. Fire hard points done. Two bolts changed and we've tightened up the rest of them. Oh, more and more. I just won. Tom Lamb's pit. Mr. Tom, can you come and build me one? Yeah, I've got a location where we would build a new workshop if we were going to. It kind of depends on what happens with the hens. So if we upgraded the hen sheds, which we're needing to do, we would integrate all the egg grading systems into the sheds and we'd do away with that. Through that doorway, egg grading shed in there. And then if we did away with all that, basically everything under that roof would be a workshop. There's a parting wall down the middle, knock down that, maybe build a bit of a mezzanine. It's all just a bit higgledy piggledy and the door's not very big. You can't get the drill in. So that's what we'd do, but it kind of depends what happens with the hens. Tatty dressing. We're dressing spuds, bagging them into five kilo bags, taking any of the bad ones out, which the cattle will eat and taking the big ones out, which we'll use for baking potatoes in the farm shop. Dad's up the back, he's taking out the duff ones. Kev's reloading the wee bags and sealing them and piling them up on a pallet. We are your two bound. We are your two bound. To fit this head scoop, this chin scoop. I just hit my funny elbow, or funny bone, whatever you call it. Ah. Okay, so this thing can come off. I think to... <clears throat> Just a case of bolt hole, bolt hole, bolt hole, bolt hole. Depending on where it sits, we need to drill a new hole here for that pin. But we can figure that out after. some cattle through it we need to weigh a batch and we'll test the scoop
that behind the knuckle. It's not a cow, it's not really after a bit of fiddling, we've got the scoop working. We won't be using it till the winter time when we're going to bolus our cows, so we'll see more about it then when we're bolusing them. Just now, we've got a batch of cattle to weigh, so we'll quickly get through them. Press your finger against it. What are we doing, Freddie? Uh, we are weighing the cows. Okay. And we go over. You have to turn it right facing me. Right. Right. I'm Freddie. Hello, my name is Freddy. Hello, my name is Freddy. What do I do now? No, he wants me to put it at me. Yeah. I don't know what to say now, Daddy. They're weighing last year's calves. Two batches. Yeah. Daddy, this might be the fourth batch. So that bit, see that circle there? Yeah. That bit's looking at you, so you hold it sort of far away like that, and you go three. Hold it up, point it at you. Three. Four. Four. Five. No, eight. I was thinking those last two cattle were growing like thunder, but it was because we'd added that head scoop, which was 60 kilos, and not zeroed it. So I think that's it. We've got the head scoop figured out. They just need to get like the knuckle of their forehead past the back bar, which we didn't have in the first place. That's 11 weighed or something. There's another 29, no, another 19 to go. Come on, come on. All right, this is the last of them. Come on. How many? That's that batch, all weighed, done and dusted. There we go. There's two in there. It's definitely that top one and then one of these other ones, which had 60 kilos added on before we twigged that we had to recalibrate the crush because I had added weight. So it's definitely that one, then one of those ones. But that's fine. Actually, I'll be able to tell by the weight gain. It's not that one. It's that one, there you go. 6.38 kilos a day, that's a bit extreme. Whereas the rest of them, 2.3, 2, 2.7, 1.9, 2.9, 1.5, 3, 1.8. Average daily weight gain, 2.81 kilos a day. There's two in there that were the wrong. They were at six point something when they should have been three probably. So that'll have skewed it up a wee bit. Well, we're here, scrape out the passages. I've, I've not yet ordered, I'm meaning to order some HDPE high density polyethylene, whatever it is, high density polymer uh, as a wear pad for the bucket for scraping out, just to reduce the kind of wear on the concrete um, from the steel of the bucket. Close one. Just about buried in dung. These pretty much need mucked out just about once every two weeks. About that. I need to remove that wall. 
We'll soon manage that. Trailer's getting pretty full. Kev's just gonna take that and dump it. There's still two bucketfuls left in the bullpens though, so I don't think I'm gonna fit them in. Cause that's not got a tailgate that lifts all the way up. You can't overfill it or it jams. I squashed it down as best I can. What's the predictions? Is Kev gonna phone me in five minutes and say, you'll need to come down with a forklift to unjam this trailer? I don't know if it's better not squashing it down, because now it's all about one big lump and it'll just slide out of the trailer and jam. Versus if you don't squash it, it's kind of loose and it can work its way out. But too late now, I've squashed it down. That trailer's in some state. It's not been washed since it was shifting hen pen. Hey lads. And lady. Is your abscess getting smaller yet? Has it moved? Oh, you've got a lump further up. Right, I'm gonna have to have a look at you. Done. We've got a lot more along here done than I thought we would. Bull's mucked out, bedded. Got that scoop fitted. Weighed that batch of cattle, scraped out the passages. There we go. One scoop attached. Boom, new bonnets are on the website, all sorted. These are the different options. I've just been taking kind of professional pictures. Light blue, Scotland flag, no Scotland flag. Khaki, Scotland flag, no Scotland flag. Green, no Scotland flag. Calf scour, Scotland flag, no Scotland flag. There you go. They should be down below if you fancy them now. Picked up a few cards because it's my birthday. Hey. Actually, I'm not a big fan of my birthday. But what we'll do, we'll use the birthday as a sales pitch. It's my birthday. Get me a gift by buying yourself a cap. Percentage of proceeds will go to buying Gate Lady the flowers I am owe her. After the video the other day got 3,000 likes. Gate Lady is utilising a gift I got you a few years ago. How kind I am. In return for my birthday, you got me a no walking crease cut, which made me very happy as well. <laughs> Look at it. Yep, just put the cake on the ironing board. 